All right, our drivers are ready. We'll begin it in three, two, one, fight. Spin getting up to speed quickly. You can hear that nice whir coming off that fan blade. And sure enough, Blue Steel going under the weapon and directly into the robot. So this is going to be difficult for Spin. I don't know how he's going to be able to attack. A little bit of, a, of damage there as it tings off the top of it. And Blue Steel's low wedge is easily getting underneath the front end of Spin as he pushes Spin into the corner, banging hard off the inner walls. And trying to direct him towards that red push-out area. But of course, Curtis not going to make it easy for him as Blue Steel pins him up against the wall and holds him for a moment. There he goes. Now he's around the corner. You can see how easily he's able to push his opponent around. And he does directly into that blue hazard. A good bounce off there, getting under again and holding up against the wall. Curtis managing to get back and tries to run over top of him and hit him with the weapon, but simply goes directly over the top and misses. Now from the side there, looks like the back end of Blue Steel might have a little bit of something that he can hit, because his weapon does tilt down slightly. But as long as Travis is paying attention and is able to use those forks and get them into the front corner of spin, it's difficult for him to fight back as he goes flipping around on the top of Blue Steel over by the red hazard. And once again, a good push put into the red hazard, although he does m end up contacting it himself on the way through. And this time into the wheels, pushing it up against the wall, stalling the weapon slightly and taking another chunk of the plastic. Spin trying to come in and hit him from the front, but oh, oh, there we go. Blue Steel for a moment had one of those forks stuck on the edge of the arena, but was able to wiggle himself free as Spin almost had an opportunity to come around behind him and strike while he was stuck. And Blue Steel again getting underneath. This time he's got Spin mounted on top of him, trying to drive away with him, but doesn't quite manage to get him all the way over to the Blue Hazard. Spin taking another, or uh, Steel taking another shot at Spin. This time Spin getting from the side and hitting the top of him, but he hits the wall and goes flying around, sitting on his back wheels, but does le land cleanly again. Blue Steel once again underneath, pushing him towards the wall. One minute remaining in the fight. As they try to make progress towards the edge, Spin hoping he can kind of break him up a little bit, but having trouble contacting with that weapon, and there we go, Steel's on the corner of him, almost gets a solid push, but Curtis drives backwards and pushes him out of the way, preventing him going straight out the side. Of course, if Spin Man is in one of those situations and he's able to drive away, Blue Steel might end up driving himself out of the arena. Pushing Spin up against the wall again, trying to pin him there for a moment. Not really the best pushing robot, but actually really good at getting a hold of his opponent, which is one of the m biggest things as he gets under him again across the arena into the middle. Once again on the corner, 20 seconds left to go. Still a good chance of pushing him out, but hard to do with Curtis constantly moving around and trying to break out of those grabs. There he is near the red edge, but not quite. 10 seconds on the clock as once again Steel pins him against the wall. Five seconds remaining, driving him to the other side now. Two one and time is up that's the end of the fight congratulations to both drivers it's here for travis and for curtis this is going to go to a judge's decision and so this is based on damage aggression and control they're going to have to decide which robot deserves to win that match and that is going to be a difficult one it's always a difficult thing both the competitors and the judges hope it doesn't come to a decision because it can be very difficult to decide in addition to these one pound fights, we'll also have some more coming up where we'll be doing uh, the smaller ones, the fairy weights, which are only 150 grams, a third of a pound, as well as our big heavy hitting robots, the three pound beetle weights. We like to save those ones for the last because they make a mess. And it's unanimous. The win will go to Blue Steel. Congratulations, Travis.